YouTube channel and welcome to what's probably my second highly, most highly requested look to do. It's the look that I did in this video here and it's also this look here that I posted on Instagram and I'm gonna recreate it today in this video. In that look though I did use like a bunch of different palettes and stuff because I was just messing around on my own and I actually had no intention of filming that day and then I filmed. But today I'm just going to use one palette and I'm going to use the palette that I spent a lot of money on, that a lot of you will have spent your money on and that pretty much I just, I need to go back and use all of my old palettes that I like because I just see new shiny things and I forget about my old ones. So we're going to use the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette for this look. I don't really have a drugstore alternative that I could use that has all the colors in it that I need so that's why we're going to use blood sugar and we're also going to use a couple of different products as well because that's how I did the look which I also, I've not prepared in any way not at all so I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Melted Matte this one is in the shade way Limelight and Gold Chains so we're only going to use this matte side and then Barry M Holographic Eyeshadow Topper in Supernova which is bomb and you should all buy it so let's, let's begin. Hey guys, editing Melissa here. Um, I'm just interjecting here because I want you to know that this tutorial is probably one of the worst I've ever done and I'm not like, eh, I'm so bad at makeup, Ugh, I'm so bad. It's just, it does not go right for me. It goes quite wrong in a few areas, but I just feel like it's, I might as well put it up. So many of you asked to see this look anyway and also um i think it's good for you to see that i have really bad days with makeup and usually i don't post them but you might as well see the process and how it goes wrong and things like that and i think the overall outcome is okay so yeah i'm just interjecting it now so that when you're watching it and you're like wow this is going horribly i know but it's just one of those things and yeah Gonna go now, <laughs> finish editing. My favorite concealer to prime is my Revolution, what's it called, Conceal and Define, should I know that? I'm gonna wrap this, wrap this on. Oh gosh, it's one of those super noisy days outside. I'm just gonna go all the way around because, <laughs> why not? So yeah, this probably isn't going to turn out exactly the same, but I am going to try and do it as the sameness as possible. You know what I mean? So from my Jeffree Star palette, I'm grabbing the shade Coma, which is the deepest purple in the palette. Come in, come in a bit. So yeah, I've got, shh. So I've got the shade Coma on this tiny little Beauty Bay brush. This is the strikeout brush. What does that mean? Oh, I never really do two eyes on camera. This feels like double the pressure. So I'm going to start just at the corner like I do when I wing out my lips usually and just create just kind of roughly this triangle shape because I've got hooded eyes I take it like way above my crease. That it's actually visible. So take it into about halfway. That's just our kind of rough, rough outline. I'm gonna try and do it on this eye. Yeah, so I'm going to Stacy Marie MUA Masterclass in Glasgow on the 20th of this month. Who else is going? Literally no one has told me they're going. Is anyone going? And uh, I think this is the look that I'll wear for that. Yeah, we're getting our train through at 10 a.m. for half 11 doors opening, so it takes about 45 minutes an hour to get to Glasgow. So I will probably be up at like 5 a.m. to get my makeup done and looking good. I'm gonna pick up Koma, just on a fluffy brush. This is my Morphe M506. 
and I'm just gonna start to be in focus. Yeah, I'm just gonna start blending this. This is such a beautiful shade. Just super rough right now, we're not trying to be too specific, which is great. Um, Need a brush. Just gonna use this like kind of flat small brush. It's a Morphe from the Grandmaster set. It's, I don't think you can get it anymore. Um, and I'm just dipping it in a coma. And we're just gonna pat that all over this outer half. I'm starting to panic now because I'm like, Melissa, you don't actually remember what you did, do you? I'm like, no. I'm also thinking this probably wasn't the best palette for this look. But anyway, I'm going to now dip into Root Canal just on that Morphe M506. And I'm just going to put this around yon edges. I've not picked up this palette in ages, so maybe I thought I had more shades to play with, but we fine. Work it out. I'm starting to take this root canal shade, is that what it's called? Yeah. It's a bit further in. I'm not really worried about what's going on down here because I am going to be able to clean that up anyway. So if I do take it too low or whatever, it doesn't really matter at this point. Everyone being so noisy today. Same M506 and I'm going to dip into the shade Cavity which is the bright pink, one of my favourite shades in the palette and this is going to go, oh gosh, I forgot how big one it was, all the way around. You know me, I always build from darkest to light and I do actually get quite a lot of criticism for it recently, I don't know why. I think just more people kind of have seen my videos recently. It's like me, it works for me. It's all right. It's gonna go all the way into that inner corner. Can I just hold up for a second? Why didn't no one tell me that Tanya Burr and Jim Chapman were getting a divorce? I literally had no idea until Jim popped up on my, like, what's that called? The explore page on Instagram, like kissing some other girl. I was like, what? I mean, I don't follow either of them and I haven't followed Tanya for a very long time, but I didn't see that coming. So that's kind of our basic shape. I do need to take a clean brush. Are you clean? Eh, clean enough. And I just want to wiggle this around the edges just to diffuse this bright pink shade. Just a pinch. Then I'm going to use my Crown C511 brush and the shade Tongue Pop, I think we'll do for this look. You know the drill, it's going to go around the edges, it's just going to help diffuse and soften 
I really thought there was like a baby pink in this palette, but there isn't, so. Did Makeup Revolution have a dupe for this palette? I think they actually do, do they? I don't know. Okay, that's our base on. Now we can go back in with all our deeper colours and really make things melt together and look much more seamless because right now it's kind of blocky and then light. But we're going to make it look good. So on my Zoeva 224 Lux Defined Crease, I'm going to pick up the shade Extraction and I'm going to use this to help me blend out this really deep coma shade. So I'm just going to start gently little circular motions just going around coma again this brush is just so fluffy it really helps to blend out shades really nicely, it just diffuses them. I never feel pressure like it than when I'm asked to recreate a look that I've done because I'm like, oh no, what if I can't do it? What if it doesn't turn out well? What if, what if, you know? Yeah, this side is starting to look a lot more blended than this side, so just a case of taking your time, just building up that colour slowly. Right, now that's on, we're going to go back in with Cavity, which is the bright pink. I should say Cavity. Cavity. Not Cavity. Cavity. And we're going to go around the edges. You guessed it. You all guessed correctly. Ten points to Gryffindor. I'm actually just going to use that same brush, which by the way is the ABH A25. I've had this for so long, it's so ratty now, but I still love it so much. And I'm going to go back in a tongue pop, which is the peach. Just wiggle waggle this around the edges. I'm definitely going to revisit that blending, but I just, I'm just getting really frustrated right now. I don't know why, I don't know what's going on, because this palette usually, I'm um, like, A+, plus, and it still is A+, plus. it's just me, it's me. I'm not doing the, the best at blending, let's just say. But I'm going to take my Morphe brush, it looks like this, it's flat, quite small, it doesn't have a name. And the shade Limelight from the Huda Beauty Melted Matte. And I pick up the product from the wand, some of you all know that. And I'm going to pat this at the front of both eyes. It's so weird because I moan about these cracking on me, but when I did that look... When I did it, I was going to say last week, but I don't know when this video is going up. Um, it didn't crack on me, which is really bizarre, even though I used like two layers, so. I'm just patting super gently, but you see if I open my eyes, it's completely disappeared. So I do take it above my crease. really shears out, that's okay. So we can just add more. But I mean, we are gonna cover it up anyway. But 
I'm just going in with a bit of a second layer now. So I'll just do the same thing to the other eye off camera because I'm watching a really interesting documentary and I just, I want to watch it. So I'll do that and then I'll be back. So I think compared to the first time I put this on, this look on, I think I've done too many layers of this huda. Like I think, I think I did three in the end and it is, um, it's not good. It's not good look if I open my eye. But I'm going to carry on and just do two layers of that. Um, this is the wrong shadow. But I'm gonna grab my Barium Supernova anyway, and we're gonna pretend like this is going well. And I'm gonna start patting this on top of the Huda. Layers upon layers, I'm sure, will not make this worse. You could try it without the shadow underneath. I'm sure it would still pop, but I don't know, I just, I like the way the look came out the first time exactly how I did it, so I'm just doing that again. And this time, this has got little sparkles in it, so when I get up above my crease, I'm just patting super gently. Just like with my Morphe Boss Mood palette tutorial recently, just to make the sparkles stick. And that gives a lovely blended effect without having to do much blending. These Barry M shadows are just amazing. I recommend them to everyone. I'll just do the same again to the other eye and then I'll come back and we'll blend this edge. It's just so sparkly and beautiful. I just wish it made me not be on so many layers of the Huda because that's uh, you know, ruining my life right now. In fact, I'll just blend this eye while I'm here and then we'll move on so I'm just gonna grab that flat Morphe brush that I have that doesn't have a name and I'm gonna grab the shade um, cavity the bright pink I'm just gonna pat this over the edges here And I'll grab a bit of tongue pop as well, just so it's a bit lighter. And then just patting, not rubbing or anything. And then I'll just grab a bit more extraction, just for this edge here. Oh, so sorry, I am making such a mess of this. And trust me, I am not pleased with myself. Okay, I'll do the same to the other eye and then we'll assess where we are because I think this is maybe terrible. <laughs> so while I feel like I'm making a dog's dinner of this look, I do think it can be rescued. So what I'm gonna do is wipe off all the fallout, we'll do the skin and then we will finish off the eyes and hopefully it will all come together in the end. But I've definitely like ruined it by using too much Huda. Like if I just open my eyes, see it's like, I've got creases that I don't have because the Huda just set really badly on me today which is so weird because I just think I use too many layers. Anyway, so I will go and we will clean up and do face and hopefully you can kind of get the gist of how I did it. Just don't make the mistake that I did by using too much of that matte shadow underneath. I've just put on a spackle of um, moisturizer. I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is actually an also, it's definitely too pale for me, but I do feel like it, what, 
I do feel like it oxidizes like half a shade once it's on and also I'm gonna like bronze and powder and all that jazz so I'm trying to use this up because obviously it's an expensive foundation and it's too pale but I can make too pale work so don't worry as you see me applying this all will be well in the world but I'm just on a mission to use up my makeup. Wow, I used like an oil moisturizer and this is going on like poo. Okay, this is definitely not gonna be a great video. Enjoy. <laughs> it's like, it's not wanting to stick to my skin. Please, something needs to go right for me in this video. Oh, this is horrible. I want to take it off. I want to take it off. Do what you're told. Ah, oh, this is going disgustingly. I got so many compliments on my makeup in that palette I hate video. Palette I regret buying video and uh, so many like, oh, your skin looks glowing. You look wonderful. Your makeup's so good as my head was just getting bigger and bigger. Now it's it's shrinking because I'm doing such a bad job. Yeah, that oil just like sheared everything out and made it look gross and apply gross. Can you use my Jeffree Star concealer? Why not? I'm supposed to be saving oh this is not the right colour, what is this? C3, a bit yellow. I'm just supposed to be saving this for a makeup I bought and forgot, but I'll still use it in that maybe. This is so yellow compared to my base. And I'm not using the same face products. If you want to know what I actually used, then go on my Instagram, which is just yep, yep, Missa. If you don't follow me in there, why not? Okay, I feel like the concealer is sticking a little better because I kind of got the foundation in the way of that disgusting oil. So I'm gonna put it kind of all over. What can go wrong will go wrong for you, Melissa, because why not? I'm gonna use my Coty Air Spun Powder. This is probably going to apply horribly for some reason. I'm just going to bake my entire face because it just feels so like oily and slippy and horrible. So yeah, I'm just literally going to pack this powder on everywhere. Everywhere! Do I look more like a ghost now? I do, I do. Do I have any regrets? Many, many? Oh no. Oh my goodness. I don't, I can't even look at myself in the camera without wanting to laugh. That's a great sign. I promise I don't look this pale, like the difference is not as apparent in real life. I don't know, I feel like, you know, what can I do at this point that's actually gonna be good for this tutorial? <laughs> Let's put more powder on Revolution Skin Finish because I won't go anywhere or do anything without it. This horrifying base needs to have some life injected back into it. I swear that skin finish just honestly almost fixes anything. Let's contour. I'm going to use my Revolution Imagination. I don't think any of these products I used, by the way, in my actual original look, but it's fine. Like, skin always looks the same. Do you know what I mean? When you do anything, you could use a really cheap foundation, but like, oh, I use Clinique. Do you know what I mean? It all looks the same. So
Isn't that like one of James Charles's earlier um, controversies? That he used to say he was using like high end products yet noticed by the brands, but he wasn't actually using the high end products. Talking of Makeup Revolution, their newest collab that they've done with Makeup by Jack, I am actually shocked at how neutral it is with a pop of blue. Like, that is what it is. It's completely neutral with a pop of blue. It is... I can't. I honestly can't. It's got to the point where multiple people, like, DM me on Instagram when they, like, show the, the new launches for the first time and we just have a chat about how awful it is. But it's not an awful palette and if you're a fan of Makeup by Jack then I'm not trying to offend you, I'm just saying it all looks the same. Guinea is an old fave bronzer, this is Milani 04 Glow. Might go in with 05 if this doesn't make me tanned enough on, I think that's orangey so in a good way it's gonna really warm up my skin I'm using this like a face powder at this point oh sometimes you just gotta gotta laugh might just use this for a highlight since it's you know was used for contour um you know nothing nothing can possibly go right now so I'm gonna use this middle one it's like a split pan because I don't know I think that one's too icy Some of this paler one as well. This one here, I'm just gonna mix like that and then that. So actually, I mean, this is a decent palette. We need some serious uh, blush on the old cheeks. Gonna use my Milani Blossom Time Rose. I feel like it'll, I don't know, it's not gonna go with the eyes. It is, but it's not. For some reason I thought this would kind of match, but. Adding a lot of blush as you can see okay let's uh, attempt to finish off the old peepers and go to bed because this is just a disaster pencil brush and the shade extraction and I'm just gonna run this it's kind of about halfway Oh, thank you, loud machinery. It's nice having the family back together. Me, you, Lawnmower Man. Bit I call. So Lawnmower Man would not shut up. So I've just gone ahead with a pencil brush and put the Huda Beauty Limelight shade underneath my eyes about halfway. And then I went on top with the Barry M holographic eyeshadow topper. I also kind of took the Huda into my waterline because I don't really have this kind of pastel lime shade as a eyeliner. So I've just put it along my waterline and it kind of works out. And then that is the eyes. I'm just gonna throw on some lashes and then we'll come back and finish off lips. Before 
for Lawnmower Man starts again. The lips, liquid lipstick I was wearing in that look was this one. It's Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade ZZ. ZZ, ZZ. Yeah. Just bung it on. Might as well not even do it well. Like, oh, oh that's not good. I need some kind of spray because my face feels like a desert even though I used a heap of oil. So I'm going to use this new one that got the Alginist Splash Hydrating Setting Spray. It smells so good and also it has such a nice spray on it. Do you know what I could use to dry it? Look, look at this. Photographer's back in action. Right, a tripod. <laughs> when did you become so stylish? <laughs> Sorry, my brother and Hamish have just walked in to my room. That's my brother. I'm very confused as to where I actually got to because my brother's been here for like an hour now and I just don't know where I left off. I think I put my lipstick on and told you what it was. So I mean this is the, this is, this is, this is what's happened and I think we should all move on from it and learn from it and yeah, bye. I'm joking. I will say my eyes seem to kind of sort themselves out like, they don't have that like really weird creasing on them anymore, which is good. I mean, oh no, my lipstick's all smudged. But um, yeah, so they're not really weird and creasy anymore. Um, and my skin doesn't look too bad considering how bad things weren't applying and I mean of whatevs you know it's one of those it's one of those but hopefully I mean you came for how I did the eyes I guess and I've kind of shown you how to do it just don't put so much huda melted shadow on underneath I've always said they were bad but I mean so thank you so much for watching this video. If you in any way enjoyed it, even if you didn't enjoy it, please just give it a thumbs up, a pity thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below because I do reply to all my comments. And subscribe, for it is the polite thing to do in this impolite, unpolite society. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Also a huge thank you to my Patreons as well. You guys are awesome. Everyone's awesome, but you're awesome. I love you so much. The support is incredible and it just boggles my little pea brain and thank you again, thank you. And on that note, I'm gonna go and I really hope that I'll see you on the flip side. Bye everyone.